Donkey Job Projects. What's up, y'all? This is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJobProjects.com, and today is day 72 of 100 days of making comics. I'm going to try to make this one a quick one. Um, but I've been checking into one of my favorite cartoonists, um, Von Bodie. You guys may or may not have heard of him. He's, uh, he is, um, like, he was part of the underground comic scene back in, like, the 60s and 70s. Uh, he died in around 75, um, unfortunately, very young, um, and left behind, uh, I think a daughter and a son. I know definitely a son, because his son, Mark Bodie, has kind of taken up the mantle and, uh, continued with his characters. But he's really, um, an amazing cartoonist. He, he, uh, was... They, they, some people describe him as like a bright spark for a very short time, and and um, he did this character, Cheech Wizard, um, and a bunch of other ones. Um, he had this lizard character that was very prominent, and his art style is really awesome. I found out about him through graffiti, um, hip hop stuff. You know, he's super influential um, in graffiti art and things like that, and. Uh, He's also, um, he's definitely not very politically correct, especially, um, you know, with certain things. He, he was, you know, his stuff has been in, like, you know, nude magazines and stuff, but it's also been in, like, National Lampoons and all this, like, pretty prominent stuff. It's, he's a pretty interesting guy. Like, um, there's some videos I'll link in the, in the, um, description uh it's like this playlist of of just some interview videos of him and he talks about like you know kind of his approach and stuff and he also talks about his encounters with stan lee and why he decided not to work with stan lee because he wanted to own his own creations and things like that um, a lot of interesting stuff really cool guy lots of energy lots of um just amazing work and I was directly kind of looking into his stuff to influence me for Daisy uh, Ted um, comic, which I got some work done on today, which is really cool. Got about a an hour or so done. Um, I'm going to show you some of uh, Von Bodie's work. So I used to have some of his other, at least one other of his books, but uh, now I only have this one little comic. I came across at a comic convention one day, and it was pretty cheap, so I was happy to get into it, um, uh, grab it, and I'm hoping to get some more stuff, but this is like some of his stuff, kind of comic strip style stuff, sort of. Um, just really cool illustrations. I love how he does his word balloons. And, I mean, this is some different, a little bit different style than what he does sometimes. Um, but, you know, he, he ran with, like, Robert Crumb and all them. You know, he was involved with all the underground artists. He was definitely really well known. Like, people like Bernie Wrightson and stuff know about him. And he actually did, uh, I think I do actually have, oh, no, no, I'm thinking of something else. But he's... You know, he's done some really cool stuff. Um, you know, it's just, I love, like, this kind of looks like his characters, but an astronaut version. I'm going to skip over. I really actually love the way he draws women. Um, but, you know, obviously he does a lot of very lewd, um, kind of, like, naked women and stuff like that. And it's kind of, if you're super feminist, you probably won't dig it. Um, but I don't know. I thought, I think the stuff is pretty cool. I don't love the concept, the content all the time, but, um, I do. Oh, see, you can see some, I was trying to skip over some of the women part, but, um, it's hard to, cause it's everywhere. I like this little ninja character guy. Um, really cool dude. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really love his stuff, and I was kind of incorporating it into some of my stuff. So, yeah, I mean, not everything he does is, like, crazy content either. Like, some of it's more just fun, you know, and it's just, uh, imaginative and, and things like that. Um, and then, 
some of you know and what i really like is just the drawing style especially like i actually love how he draws women he, he draws like i like the proportions like they're more realistic proportions i mean they're cartoony but they're realistic like meaning they're not you know it's not a bunch of skinny girls it's like you know fully figured women and stuff which i think is really cool um so and I'll be showing you, I'll put, you know, clips of what I, the stuff I was working on and how I was kind of referencing him and a little bit of concept art today. And then also I finished the panel for the first comic strip. So that was really fun too. And I got to do some inking today, which was fun because I haven't, I feel like I, I miss inking a little bit. So that was cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys dig that. Um, what else do I really like? Yeah, I just, I like how he draws feet. <laughs> feet are really cool. Hands, his hands are really cool. He's got these, like, skinny legs. I, I like how he does everything, really. Almost everything. I don't really like the female faces he does too much. They're cool. They're not my favorite, but they're cool. Um, but I don't know. I, I think he's a he's definitely a big influence for me as far as visually, like, the way he draws. And it's really cool, too. Like, you definitely want to check out the videos because there's, like, one video where it's his son talking and like i said his son took up the mantle really and draws kind of just like him and and um you know he just he really is taking on the legacy of his father and and just going f moving forward with what you know his father had originally thought and that was actually what his father wanted him to do you know um so that's really cool so mark bode is also a really cool artist and he did some work on like ninja turtles too and um just a bunch of other stuff he's he's been pretty prolific himself so um so yeah that's about it hopefully you guys dig this stuff and uh like the stuff i'm creating and um you know i'm trying to figure out how far i want to go with like getting directly influenced by him or other people but uh i'm sure it'll come out to be more my style you know but like with the mix of all this other stuff so and i'm having fun drawing cartoony which i don't sometimes I struggle with. So yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.